Uh, hello everyone, my name is Michael Tully. Uh, I've recently rejoined the law office of Bernard Tully from uh, the dark side of representing insurance companies. And now I'm back to my passion of helping those who are injured in accidents or whatever, whatever other means. Uh, so I've also finally been conscripted into doing one of these videos. Um, so I guess we're gonna call this episode, I've just been in an accident, what do I do now? So if you're involved in an accident, first off, I hope you're okay. But the first thing you should do is call the police. And I understand your apprehension, you may not wanna involve the police for whatever reason, but let me tell you why it's important. Uh, the police, when they arrive, they're gonna write a report. And in that report, they're going to uh, have all the information on the guy that hit you. Uh, that includes their insurance information, their address, which is important if we have to file a lawsuit because they have to be served with the complaint. Uh, but more importantly, they're gonna have documentation of the accident, uh, how it occurred, and more importantly, uh, they're gonna assign who is at fault. And let's hope it's the other guy. Uh, when you're at the scene of the accident, uh, niceties, you don't get an award for those. So don't go apologizing to the other guy. Uh, that's gonna be used against you as an admission of guilt, that it was your fault. So as much as you wanna be a good person and apologize, just don't. Just Take photos, make sure that you have some documentation of what happened. Um, second thing, I would go to the emergency room if you're hurt. The reason for that is it looks good when we eventually file a claim on your behalf that you went to the emergency room after the accident. Um, and when they're there, the, in addition to the emergency room uh, records, we'll have the police report uh, documenting your injuries, uh, and, and all those other critical details that are the foundation of the case. So call the police uh, and go to the emergency room. The next thing, you may be contacted by uh, the insurance company for the, the company that, or excuse me, for the, uh, the person that hit you. I can't stress this enough. If they want to take a recorded statement, absolutely not. It's gonna be used against you. you, don't, you there's no benefit to it. So if you're contacted by the insurance company for the other side, do not, under any circumstances, give a recorded statement. And let me tell you why. Insurance companies are not your friend. Uh, they're basically rated on a scale of least horrible to most horrible. And uh, I think we established that State Farm's probably the worst. Uh, the, the goal of the insurance companies is to spend as little amount of money uh, on you as possible. Uh, they they want to minimize uh, their expenses, even if you're hurt. They don't care. Um, I guess the last thing is, uh, it's kind of shocking uh, how many people out there are driving around with uh, low levels of insurance. Um, the 15,000 uh, doesn't, so if you're injured and that guy only has 15,000 and you're hurt, um, that's all we can get. And so. I can't stress this enough. Uh, if, even though you might have to pay a higher premium, you should try and get the most underinsured and under uninsured and underinsured motorist coverage that you can to protect yourself from all the other jagoffs out there that don't have any insurance, because that's the only way you're going to get any money. So this was the first one. Uh, let's hope it went well, and uh, God bless America from the Law Office of Bernard Tully.